Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory guide and today we're looking at hypertube junctions both horizontally and vertically to create a hypertube network that can take you from a single hypertube entrance to anywhere in your factory. So let's get to it. First we have the hypertube junction example. We have our entrance point in red followed by a hypertube going to the left in white and a hypertube going to the right in black. The idea is simple, launch yourself from the first entrance through to a second one without needing to jump out of the hypertube network. Once entering the network, I hold down the left key to go left and the right key to go right. To get the positioning right for the hypertubes, you need to place one hypertube in the center of the foundation and then the two junction entrances should be a maximum of one foundation away from the exit point of our entrance tube. Now these junctions should also be parallel to one another and have space for one hypertube entrance in between. From there set up the network and the system should work but note that you can make this much more compact with a minimum of a half foundation in between the entrance points exit and the junction entrances. Here I've managed to set this all up within a single foundation. This can also be housed within walls to create a junction box which looks quite neat and the system can be combined with more junctions to create a network. Just make sure that you label the areas so that you somehow know where you're going. It can often be slow traveling really long distances so another option is to add an accelerator at every junction or every other junction and that way you can veer off to get the boost and then go back onto the network. Now if you want the option to increase speed prior to getting into the network you can use another launcher um, either in a straight line or possibly in a circle with a junction so that you're able to get to peak speed before you launch yourself into the network. Uh, that's really good for really long hypertube distances. Alternatively also we've uh, in our one of our recent guides we've talked about using jump pads with hypertubes. I'll place the link above but you can see that they can offer a good little boost for nothing extra. Finally, when it comes to the 5x5 challenge, which we do on our live streams on Twitch, we find ourselves with very little space to work with. I've translated this particular junction system to allow us to launch ourselves straight up by taking the right junction entrance or to exit at a given station on the left. And at this point, I'm stopped by an unpowered hypertube entrance. This particular system only goes up. However, you can easily add a hypertube network leading you down or alternatively use jelly pads. But that's all we really have time for in this video. If you did find it helpful, please do drop a thumbs up. And obviously, if you want to see more of our guides, like my liquid mechanics one, that's also in the top right hand corner now, then why not subscribe? Anyway, guys, with this guide, you are able to create some more advanced networks by linking all of these different techniques together. And I really do hope it helps you out with your factories. But thank you so much for watching and thank you to our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Bo Papa and Cerebral Tag, as well as our Lunar Eclipse supporters, Matt Lippard, Chris McCabe and Lord of July and our Blood Moon of the Day, Prada. Anyway guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.